all over that great state. There's more dangerous weather on the way this morning. Ten states in the District of Columbia under states of emergency declarations right now, including Texas. It's snowing in Texas! Ah! I need to go outside, dude. Hey guys, it is 6.35 in my car because nothing is working since 2 in the morning. I remember I was still awake and our lights went off and then it went back on. But then when I woke up around 6, 7, nothing was working and it's 6 p.m. now. So it's been more than 12 hours. No light, no heat, nothing. I'm trying to stay warm and the phone keeps dying. I ran to my car and I, one of my friends, like shout out to her mom and dad, a Bluetooth I'm charging my phone because I nothing's working and I'm not gonna lie it's kind of stressful okay guys I had to delete some pictures because my storage was messing up honestly like this this is crazy like I'm, I'm just so surprised like Texas isn't dealing with this well like look at New York yes they're already used to it but we I feel like this should have been fixed already but it is what it is so let me see if I can go work out and let me see if upstairs in the lobby area of our apartments there's actually a place that I can charge my phone without needing the wall plugs because there's still no light as you can tell. Okay, so you can't even see me but I think there's a lot of people that are doing what I'm doing and I'm just kind of charging my phone in the car. So you can't even see anything but like just like honestly everyone's alive. So it is day two, charging my phone in the car because nothing's working, the lights aren't working, our hallway to our apartments are like, it looks like a freaking apocalypse. I should have been at work already and no, because everything's going on and I'm just kind of like shocked. I'm trying to understand what's going on, but my, my service is like just on and off like it's working and it's not working i wonder like how the people here are even doing it and like right now one of my messages just failed to send i just got the notification so yeah this is crazy this is creepy i have my food freezing outside because our fridge my fridge isn't working it's crazy guys i am in my car again it's 2 48 p.m and i actually don't even know what time i woke up because my phone died and yesterday was crazy long story short i decided that i wanted to go to the gym yesterday which was probably the worst idea ever because it was already nighttime so i came to my car to charge my phone and then when i was trying to get back into my apartment i have like key fobs so it's automatic this is how they look we have these and you have to scan something so the scanner wasn't working because it's snowing here and i just thought it was just the electricity and i was like great and it happened to a guy that was right across me he was on the other side so we both went into through the lobby because that was open thank god and we were just trying to look how to get back home he was actually able to get back into his apartment because it was still connected to the lobby but where i live it's actually kind of like farther apart so what happened with where i was going i couldn't get in because it was separated no stairs nothing that could get me in i was like great my phone is just i had a flashlight but it was so dark like no not even kidding it was creepy it was so creepy like we even talked about it how we i felt like i was in the apocalypse like that's how it felt no joke the lights are not working and my phone was dead so i was like trying to roam around i was like gosh please god protect me like then nobody comes and like bye ah, you know because that's just how it feels like i hope i recorded it but it was crazy we're literally taking their dogs and they're just leaving like evacuating got out and i went to the garage and i saw a bmw pull up so i was like okay i'm just gonna go ask them i was like i can't find a way to get to my apartment and you know everything's sketchy right now so i feel like they were probably like why is she coming up to us like dude i need to find a way to get back home because i was lost like these apartments are huge and i didn't even realize it until i got lost I asked a couple and they were so nice and they helped me out, but we couldn't find it. We were we were there 20 to 30 minutes. I'm just kind of shocked. I'm shocked that nothing like Texas, like what's going on? Like 
what's wrong with the energy like it's day two come on man what do i need to help you with so we can make this happen this is just kind of stressful and especially because i was listening to 90.1 and they said first is residents so apartments are last and the place that i'm at almost everybody like this whole section is apartments and so last night i saw like when i was about to go to sleep like the street lights the city lights the stop signs they just went off everything was off and there were still people driving and i was like what is like going on like this is crazy i don't honestly don't know when things are going to get back to normal but hopefully like at least that something gets fixed and i'm kind of even wonder if like walmart's open because i need to buy a freaking emergency light i need to go buy food because your girl is like low in inventory and this is not okay to 45 minutes at a time that's a lie SCP chief operating officer i've literally Nicole. been without power for 48 hours well the company manages the crisis it is tuesday Season after being acquitted in his to lose heat and light for several hours at a time worse and the grid doesn't do what it needs to and we don't get their power back on some rolling blackouts have lasted 10 hours or more, yes. denying heat to millions or home temperature. Okay, so I just heard on NPR News that we're about to have a winter storm until Thursday, okay? Thursday. My heater has not worked at 6 p.m. It's going to get really bad, supposedly, and we shouldn't go out. So what am I going to do? I don't know, because my freaking phone isn't working. Am I going to survive off of strawberries? I don't know, because I only have one banana left. And my oatmeal can't be cooked unless, but guys, y'all pray for us over here because Greg Abbott is supposedly going to do a reformation on the electricity and that's what's needed because I don't care if Texas doesn't really get ice or snow. We need to be prepared for these things. Even myself. Things. Obviously, we are not immune to anything and I think if 2020 has ever showed us anything is to be prepared for the unexpected. Which again operates the state's electric grid. I think there are a lot of, you know, obviously staff at ERCA and people who understand that the climate is changing and anticipate that. The police say they got 270% more calls yesterday than Monday. For fires, hours, seen yeah. more than 1,600 calls. Normally, they get in their running car in the garage to warm up. They forgot to open the garage. Richland Hills and its power will likely not be restored until Thursday. Furthermore, it is urging those who do have power to open their homes to those who do not. Over the last monoxide poisoning. Dog. The town of Anna has there issued is a boil water note. Okay, guys, I'm trying not to freak out because I just realized I was in my car for a while. So this is how it looks. Came to my because yeah it was crazy out in my streets and it's a long story and i was really scared to drive but i did it so now i'm here if you can see it was so scary but i'm so thankful to god that i made it here safe and i did my best and it was my first time driving on ice so i just wanted to let y'all know how it's going there's like some people that don't know how to drive if it's icing you need to slow down like this guy literally passed me and then he was trying to like swerve another person this is how accidents happen i was going 10 miles per hour like five to ten miles per hour and my car was still like swerving a little bit please stay safe out there Whew, that was kind of scary but i'm so glad i did it i doubted myself a lot and i'm just so happy i did it I was putting like worship music on because okay guys i got my stuff out of the car and the snow's so beautiful but man it really is dangerous it's not something to play with and i'm gonna just go and hopefully there's wi-fi here so i can do my homework and start working Okay guys, it's February 19th, my hair looks crusty, and I'm finally back in the apartments. It's been sprung. We just got our electricity back five days since Monday, no electricity. Now I'm back. The footprints from everyone's, from the ice, the electricity went out, looks good now. This is what I did to my food, incredible. I had to empty my fridge and I left my eggs outside. I left the almonds outside because that can be outside, but some of the food went bad. And my milk. Water is running now. I left all these water just in case. 
obviously this restarted um it just feels so good guys it just feels so good to have electricity thankful that everything's working again crazy how we can miss the little blessings just because they're always there and when they go it makes a huge difference still february 19th i'm just so thankful to be back home it's still a little snowy my hair is like a mess guys we haven't taken a shower I'm about to go hop in the shower for some reason. Even though like I woke up late, I'm just tired, drained. I'm definitely going to be praying while I'm taking a shower, I think. <laughs> Everything we just went through, it wasn't normal. Everyone was enjoying the snow February 14th on Valentine's Day. We're like, wow, this is beautiful. And then boom, a vortex occurred. I feel really bad for the people who are still dealing with the snow. And I'm going to have to give because... I know how it feels and I'm thankful that I got to go through it and I made it out, but I know a lot of people didn't. So my heart goes out to all the family and all the people that are still in this situation. Houston, the gallery furniture store, opening their doors to families and feeding them. In Dallas, a recycling center offering free firewood for families. Christine Kilburn says she's had no power since Sunday. And at the Genesis Women's Shelter and Support in Dallas, they're now asking for blankets, flashlights, and warm clothes. Nessa Wilmore is the founder of Feed the People Dallas Mutual Aid. Right now we are working on um, getting more people in hotels. And in Bell County, Texas tonight, husband and wife Victoria and Bobby Dill and their friends buying hundreds of sandwiches and giving them away. I know we come back to a warm house with food. So it was my duty, um, my mission to get somebody with something Millions heading into another night without power. We'll stay on this. It's so many trying to help. And we'll put those groups at abcnews.com for you. Good night. Now covering the, the landscaping there on a report of heavy smoke. Power has been out. How can we boil water? We don't even have power. We have been without power for 60 hours now. Frozen water pipes bursting, destroying homes. Some causing ceilings to collapse. We are sitting here by the fire. This is trying to keep her 11-month-old baby warm. Her family's light source is this lantern. So we can make some warm bottles for my daughter. We have our propane fireplace, one battery-powered light that we plugged in before the electricity went out, and otherwise it's candles. Julie Crawford has been boiling snow for her family to use as their primary water source. Getting snow, putting it in our pots and heating it on our propane grill. Texas is the only state in the entire country on its own electrical grid. This morning, Governor Abbott calling for an investigation into the company. The power to a number of homes here in Texas was restored overnight, but still so many people remain in the dark. And between the electric issues and the water, guys, this is far from over for so many people here in Texas.